Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I want to show you how to make, a, I call it a pre-roll for your presentation. Basically the concept is this, if you're getting a bunch of people into a, a huge room, the odds are good that you want to be able to use that uh, those those projectors up front to be able to give people information, maybe to sell them something else or to prepare them for the talk they're about to see, any of a number of different things. Now, we can do that with two separate PowerPoint slide decks, but there's also a technique uh, using a custom show that allow you to have basically two different presentations um, that run in the same slide deck. So let me show you how that's done. So as you can see over here on the left, I have my first four slides and then slide number five is actually the title of the presentation. And then we go into the intro and the agenda and that sort of thing. And, and at that point, I'm basically done. I'm, I don't really need to make the rest of this presentation. So the concept here is maybe for the 15 minutes before the talk begins, we want to consistently rotate between slides one, two, three, and four, and then back to one again and go back through these and then back to one again and back through these. And you could have 20 or 50 or 150 slides here. It really wouldn't matter. And then at any point in the process, you can then say, okay, it's time to go into the actual presentation. And we can do this almost seamlessly. So here's the first part. We need to create two custom shows. A custom show you can find by going to the slideshow tab up at the top of the screen and going to this button, the fourth button from the left, which is custom slideshow. When you click on that, you'll notice it just says custom shows dot dot dot. In a second, when we make some custom shows, this menu will have our custom shows on it. But I go here to custom shows and it says, okay, well, we don't have any custom shows right now. What would you like your custom show to be? And the basic concept here is I need to have one show that is my first four slides and then another show that is my last three slides. So I'll click new here and uh, I'll call this show something like um, pre-roll and I'll grab content one, two, three, and four, the first four slides of my slide deck and click add and then click OK. And now we've got our pre-roll presentation that it can just go back and forth and back and forth between these four slides. Then go to new one more time and go in here and grab five, six, and seven and add those. And of course, you know, if there were 50 or 100 or 190 slides in here, you just pick whatever slides were relevant. Call this one, let's say, let's say core presentation. That's a good name for it and then click OK. So now we have the pre-roll and we have the core presentation. I'll click close here, close this down. And the last thing we need to do is to make sure that slides one, two, three, and four will go through one at a time. Um, it'll, it'll go to the next one automatically. And then when it gets to slide number four, it'll automatically go back to slide number one. It'll automatically rewind. So to do this, we'll go ahead and highlight slides one, two, three, and four over here on the left. I just clicked on the top one, held down shift, click on the last one. Go over here to transitions, and I'm going to go ahead and say, don't just advance the slide on a mouse click, advance it after a certain amount of time. So maybe that'll be five seconds. So after five seconds, go to the next slide. And then the last part is to go to the slideshow tab at the top of the screen and click on setup show, setup slideshow. That setup slideshow gives you the possibility, as you can see right here, to loop this presentation continuously until somebody finally hits the escape key on the keyboard. Then click OK. Now in doing this, we can't just hit start the presentation from the beginning or from current slide, or we can't hit the F5 keyboard shortcut. What we have to do is go to custom slideshow and click on pre-roll. That will launch into the pre-roll. Notice here it's going to spend five seconds on content one and then spend five seconds on content two. It'll move on to content three, spend five seconds here, and then move on to the fourth slide, which is that uh, cycle. And then hopefully right here it's going to go back around 
to slide number one. There it is. So now we're back on slide number one, content one, and slide number two, et cetera, et cetera. And at some point in the process, like so this is just running infinitely at the beginning of your uh, talk. Then at some point you just right click on the slide, go to custom show and say, go over to the core presentation. Boom, just like that, I'm now in the core presentation. I can move forward to the introductions and I can then move forward to the agenda. And as you saw, I didn't bother making any more slides than that, you get the picture from here. And so that's it, you hit escape and you're out of the presentation. Now, if you needed to, you could always hit the F5 key on the keyboard that would launch directly into content one here. We still have that five second delay to content two. Then we have the five second delay to content three. And then we have the five second delay to the uh, last one, which is the cycle. But here, because we didn't launch into the custom show, it should land us on, there it is should land us on that presentation title slide. So theoretically here it's fine, right? But if you notice this and you said, oh no, you know what, I wanna to go to my pre-roll, remember all you have to do is just right click on the slide, go to the custom show, go to pre-roll, and then it will launch into those repeating slides. And from that point, you can, again, go back into your standard presentation whenever it's the time to do so. So being able to use custom shows, being able to use automatic forward um, transitions and being able to use that loop continuously functionality gives you this capacity to have an infinitely looping pre-roll and then jump straight into the presentation.